Hey guys, um, this is kind of like Wednesday with me, but not because it's like, it's Friday. It's Friday and I'm about to pack and I shouldn't be taking so long on this video, but I am and I'm gonna, so I am. I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking way too much right now, but think about it. I really like where you're actually talking to each other because, I mean, we've all made our videos basically on the wrong day because we have to film it and then we have to live and have normal real life stuff happen but but it's like it's like we're sticking post-it notes on the same message board because this is from Friday but it's transcending time and you are now watching it on Wednesday you could also watch it three years from now and be the same because today in this room it is Friday July 16th 2010 so I'm packing or actually I should be packing but I'm not and I'm talking to you people and so I thought I'd show you around my room because I want to prove that I do have one. So bear with me, I will be basically carrying around my laptop. Converse, the ones that I've killed, I'm, I'm now wearing red ones, but yeah. This is my Edward Cohen poster. I need to preface this by saying I don't actually like Twilight that much. I mean, I read the first two and a half books and then I got bored and didn't really want to read the rest, but my friend gave it to me and she hung it up here above my bed so that I could be freaked out and I didn't notice it until I woke up the next day. My beautiful bookshelf, which are actually kind of holding most of my friend's books as opposed to my own. And these are the things I make out of candy wrappers. You can see, yeah, candy wrapper stuff. Oh, I share a room with my brother, so you can see he's quite tidy. You know, it's not that bad. And Nicole, I, I also have a bunk bed, as you can see. Yeah, I am afraid to fall off of it. This is my messy closet. So yeah, that's my room. It, it's very room-like. Um, Nick, I heard that you play the uke, or got a uke. I also play, so I should like jam via time and space. Yeah. And how do you say, how do you say nations of six in, in Swedish? I would like to know. I'm, I'm sorry, if I, if I do ask you random Swedish things and you're like tired of Swedish questions, then you just like not answering that one. Because I will be asking random cultural questions. Probably. I will be at asking random culture questions because I'm kind of a anthropology nerd like that. Caleb? Tai Chi? I don't know Tai Chi, I'm just I have a paper. That's why I'm I'm looking at it. Oh. It's actually on the back of a picture of a paper outlining the uh, video response to Dan Brown, which is how I found him. I, I found one of his videos, an, an atheism video, and I was gonna respond to it, and I never did, but I found the outline. Huh? I also have a PC too. Like everybody else, I think we're all PC people. But in order to show you, I had to steal my sibling's mirror because it's a built-in webcam. See that? There I am. There, there you are. Talk about time and space being transcended as we speak. This looks kind of cool. Way too entertained. I'm sorry. Pacifica? That is by far the coolest thing ever. Definitely. It just, it sounds like such a cool name. Random thought. And Una, you finally have a job! Yay! For the job force! Yeah. I, I work too. But I work at a pet store. <laughs> and, um, I mean, it's fun because I like animals, but the other day I got, I don't know if you can see, like all, uh, you can't see it. But you can see that one cut. But I, I got attacked by one of the birds, like, bleeding everywhere. It was, it was great. Do you get, like, free bait? goods because I don't really get free fish or I do get dog food though I get dog food for my dog which is cool and Caleb you have a crazy schedule can we all agree yeah yeah you do but it's it's cool I mean YMCA that's pretty awesome what do you want to like do with that eventually like are you planning on becoming a YMCA director of some kind or <laughs> with the experience you're gaining just wondered the scariest thing that's ever happened to me um, hmm, 
See, I don't know. I have like two because one of them I was scared when it happened, and then the other one I was like scared after I realized what happened. Cause like I was really scared when me and my friend we were driving um, to go feed homeless people down in like the ghetto, and we're driving down there and we get hit from the side, like cause it was a two lane road, and someone was pulling out of a gas station. And they hit us like T boned, and we got pushed into head on traffic, and this big old bus almost ran over my friend's little lunchbox of a car and so she like pulled out the road and we like skidded to the side and we were okay like no one got hurt which is amazing really scared because we both knew that we almost got hit by a car head-on and from the side so Caleb you showed that really cool looking Japanese drink thing. It looks really awesome. Um, this is one of my favorites. It's called Arizona iced tea. And you can see it here. Can you? Yeah, it's basically the most awesome green tea ever. I love this stuff. I drank it like one summer and I had like 10 cans like stored up in my room. I was gonna do some weird project with them, but love this stuff. Um, but I've also been stocking up on good camp help because I am going to be a counselor for the next week and I don't know how primary school works out Nick so I, I don't know how to like explain it but it's for um, kids going into seventh grade and for kids leaving eighth grade so in between that age it's like I think like like, a, like 12 to 14 maybe 11 to 14 Just, it's gonna be crazy so I'll show you I have like most crazy stock up. Look at that. And here's the lovely note I have for my family not to drink. My my stock of life saving drinks. So my question for you guys today is what makes you or made you really cool when you were a kid and now you look back and you're like, oh my gosh, how did I ever think that was cool? Um, for me, it was me and my friend, my little best friend. We would, we had this one pair of rollerblades and we both wanted to rollerblade. So what we would do is each of us got one of the rollerblades and we would like run and then like glide on the one foot that had the rollerblade and like try to do tricks like that. And we thought we were so cool. We had like all these tricks like named and stupid stuff like that. Like we would like curl up in a ball on one foot while we were like gliding and uh, we had, we had way too much fun, but that was, we were like so cool because we could do that and stuff. So yeah, I'd love to hear your responses to how cool, you know, you could be as a little kid. Cause we are pretty dang cool, if you don't, if you don't mind my saying. Well guys, it's been great talking to you, and I hope you've not been too bored by this video. Um, I'll see you after camp, and I will definitely be catching up and watching all of your vlogs, because I, I hate missing them, so I will be watching them some way or another. I'll see you next Wednesday, even though you won't see me this Wednesday, which is this one, the one that, that you're watching this on. Oh, time and space. Bye!